what's up YouTube? My name is Mia, I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to another video. Uh, apparently, this video is slightly different. As you can see, we have a brand new um, studio. This is not uh, an ultimate uh, YouTube setup, but then it's better than horse filming uh, outside. This is the reason why I've been off for a, very, a, for a while now. And this is actually my first upload this year. So in this today, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the behind the scenes of a photo shoot I did uh, comparing both um, crop sensor camera with a full frame camera. We are also going to be seeing the type of lens and what you need to do uh, to make a crop sensor look exactly like a full frame camera. So looking at these images, can you tell which was shot using um, full frame camera and which was shot using crop sensor camera? So for the full frame, we use a uh, 6D, uh, I learned it from a friend, and for the crop sensor, I use my Canon River TCSI. And for both camera, we use a uh, 50mm 1.8. The first thing I'm going to do is to shoot some portrait with both camera uh, using 50mm and also standing in the same spot so we can see the difference between crop sensor and full frame. As you can see, I have switched to uh, my 6D, which is my full frame camera. Uh, and I'm still standing at that same spot to get another shot. As you can see from this image, 50mm 1.8 gives a focal length equivalent to 75mm on crop sensor why it gives uh, exact 50 mm on full frame camera i also tried shooting a landscape to get more perspective on both cameras And again, as you can see, we get more wider angle on full frame than on crop sensor. That was because of the crop factor on crop sensor cameras. In this shoot, as you can see, I was trying to get uh, exact same composition on both camera, on full frame on crop sensor, which is my uh, Canon Rebel TCSI and my 60. So I'll, I'm going to be starting with my full frame camera. Now switching to my crop sensor, as you can see, I needed to take some step backward to be able to match the composition.
so to the last comparison on this video i'm going to be showing you guys what you guys need to do to get exact same focal length the solution is just to slap a 35 mm on your crop sensor camera and boom you get uh, the same focal length as your full frame camera without uh, without having to move backward or forward as you can see in this video I prefer the full frame camera to the crop sensor camera uh, mainly because um, the full frame uh, is sharper and uh, had, has more color than the crop sensor. Other than that, I think both camera uh, took amazing pictures. So that's all for today. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know your opinions on crop sensor and full frame camera. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime I pull up a new video, you can be notified. So thanks for dropping by. Until next time, remember to stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop creating. Peace.